Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this necklace. And this necklace uses some of the beads from the Royal Plumage Collection from Eureka Crystal Beads, which I think is restocked. So I'll put a link in the description box um, below the video. You can check it out. But of course, you, you may have these beads in your stash or they're very easily found online. So here's the necklace I've added. The necklace is actually here. So it's a collar, and I've added the Royal Plumage Pendant, which I have a video for, and I'll link that down below. And I love it with the pendant, but, you know, you don't have to put the pendant on. So there are times you can stop along the way with this necklace and not go over the top. It's my birthday this weekend, so um, I really want to, you know, I want to, I'm feeling a little over the top. So <laughs> I'm going to wear it with the pendant. All right, so I will clear this off. We'll get a materials list going, and we'll get started. Before we get the materials list going, I need, I need an opinion. So I'm going out to dinner for my birthday this weekend and I need to know what you think so I'm the queen of the sweater you know <laughs> and tank top so here I put on a linen tank top and a um, you know kind of sort of a crocheted sweater or knitted sweater and the necklace and then I just love it this way too with like a crisp white shirt or you can go that the little black dress you know which is pretty classic look so let me know what you think or if there's something else you think I should wear it with um, so I can look really gorgeous on my birthday all right, let's get a materials list going. Let's get a materials list going. So you need some gem duos. So a lot of these beads, like I said, are from the Royal Plumage Collection, except for the O beads and my gold beads here. Um, pretty much everything else is uh, from the collection. So you'll need some gem duos, four millimeter pearls. I've got this O bead, and I highly recommend you have an O bead in your stash. Just pick your metallic and just leave it in your stash so when you need them, you have them. You get a ton of them in here. 11 O seed beaded metallic. This is an 11, that's a Miyuki, this is a Toho 11-0 in this kind of um, beautiful iridescent green color. 15-0 in metallic. I've got chitons. Now these aren't the amounts you need. That'll be in the description box because I used a lot of the beads from the collection and I've used up all the beads on the necklace. So here you've got some chitons you'll need. You need some 8 millimeter drux or pearls. 4 millimeter bicones. I have a toggle clasp here. Um, a few jump rings size, I'm using a size 11 beading needle, have, maybe have a 12 handy, six pound fire line, I'm using black satin, and you need a stop bead, which I always forget to put out, so I'll pop that right there. And you'll need the pendant already made, and that is, I will link this video in the description box below this video, so if you want to add the pendant, you don't have to add the pendant, but if you want to, you can. All right, so I'm going to clear this off and, get a, and we'll get started. Please don't forget to check the description box for all sizes, colors, shapes, amounts, everything you need. I'll put links to where you can find these beads. I'll put a link to the collection. Hopefully it's still available. Um, so let's get started. All right, so thread your needle with about six feet of thread. I mean, you could do a little less if you want. You can always add thread. You're gonna put a stop bead on in the middle because I want us to start with the chiton unit in the middle and then add units after that. Um, so that way you can really determine what's going to fit best on your neck or whoever's neck you're making it for. So if we start in the middle, then you can adjust the amount of um, units you put on. Okay, so I've dropped down to my stop bead, a gem duo, an O bead, a four millimeter pearl, and an O bead. And I did that four times. So here, one, two, three, and four. So you're going to have four of your gem duos. And then you're going to have four groups of an O bead, a pearl, and an O bead in between, starting with the gem duo, ending with your, your uh, O bead, pearl, O bead little section. Okay, we're going to sew these into a circle by just coming around and sewing up through the first bead after your stop bead, like so. So this is going to be our center unit, the start of our center unit, and they just want to reinforce all the way around. That's what it looks like. So I'm exiting, so I'm reinforced. Here's my, my other thread. It's just hanging out here. It's coming out of the bottom hole of that gem duo. So I'm just going to move my needle until I'm exiting. So I'm exiting this gem duo, so this is the working thread. So I'm just going to move my needle in time until I'm exiting a pearl. So just like that, exiting the pearl, I'm going to pick up my that little um, Toho 11-0. Exiting this pearl, I'm just going to hop over and sew to this pearl and just sew through the, that pearl. And I just want to make sure that little 11 pops in between and under this gem duo like that. So just repeat that all the way around. 
Coming to my last 11 O, so exiting the pearl. I'm going to sew through the next pearl. Like so, making sure that pops in front like that. And then I'm just going to advance right through that first 11 O that we put on. That's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm exiting that 11 out. I'm going to pick up two of my 15 O's and I'm just going to sew through the next 11 out right here. And you're just going to do that all the way around. Two 15 O's in between the 11 O's. Down to my last two 15 O's, exiting the 11 O. I'm going to sew through that next 11 O. Just like that. And then you could just, you can reinforce that center area. Um, if you if you like, like if you think it needs to be a little tighter, and um, just exit that same 11. This is what it looks like. So before we move on and continue, take off your stop bead and thread a needle onto that other long thread. I just want to move it out of the way here. So we are you'll be exiting this um, gem duo. I just want you to move through the O bead, the pearl, the O bead, and the next gem duo. If you can get them all at once, do it. If not, do them one at a time, just like that. And then up the other hole of that gem duo. And this is the way you're going to be situating your piece. So this is what we'll be adding on. So you'll always keep your piece in this direction, just you know, until we get the this unit done. Back to my working thread. So my tail thread, you know, is exiting here. That's going to be for the rest of the necklace. My, my working thread is exiting this 11 o interior 11 o here. I'm just going to sew through the pearl, the 11, the um, o bead, and we want to get through the gem duo here. And then you want to be exiting. You want to sew through this o bead like that. So this is what it looks like so far. We are. You just moved your thread to exit this o bead right here. Okay, now we're going to pick up three 11 O's. We're exiting this O bead. We're going to sew through the next O bead, the gem duo, and the next O bead. So you're just putting three 11 O's in between the O beads. So here I'm exiting that O bead. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. I'm going to sew through the next O bead, gem duo, and O bead, like that. And you're just going to do that a couple more times. Okay, I'm on my last group of three 11 O's. Exiting this O bead, I'm gonna sew through the next O bead, the gem duo, the next O bead, and then the first three 11 O's that we originally put on. This is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm exiting a group of the three 11 O's. I'm gonna pick up four 15 O's. Exiting here, I'm just going to sew through the other side of those three, like that. So I'm adding on, you know, four 15 O's on top, like that. And then you want to sew through the next O bead, the gem duo, the next O bead, and the next three of your of the 11 O's, the next three 11 O's, <laughs> like that. So those four um, 15 O's you put on are going to sit in front of the three 11 O's, and you're just going to repeat that all the way around. Let's do this one more time with you. One, two, three, four 15 O's, exiting the, the three 11 O's here. I'm just going to sew through the other side of those three 11 O's to put those four 15 O's, and I'm going to advance over to my next group of three 11 O's by sewing through the O bead, the gem duo of the O bead, and the next three 11 O's. So you're just going to repeat that two more times and make sure the 15 O's sit in, on, in front of the 11 O's. Putting on my last group of 15 O's. So those four 15 O's placed right there. And then advance through the next O bead and gem duo. The next O bead. 
and those, the next four, 15 of those. That's what it looks like. Now I'm going to pick up one of the Toho 11 O's that I was using before, and I'm going to sew through the next. So I'm sitting the last of these four 15 O's. I'm going to sew through the next four 15 O's. So we're just making a little pocket for our chiton. So picking up another 11 O's, sewing through the next four of your 15 O's. You can grab your chiton at this point. I pop it out here. You could just hold it in there. So that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to take another 11 O and sew through the next four 15 O's like that. One more time, the 11 O, sew through the next four 15 O's. And you're going to have to reinforce this Oops. all the way around. So go through all the beads. Like so. You can even skip, if you need to, you can skip the 11 O's and sew through all the 15 O's, but mine's fitting in there really nicely by just sewing through all the beads again. So I'm just going to let you do that, reinforce that until it's nice and snug, and then come back and we'll continue. So I've reinforced all the way around and it's nice and snug. I'm exiting um, this green 11 O. I'm just going to sew through the next four 15 O's. And I'm going to reverse direction and sew through the three 11 O's right here. The O bead and the gem duo. I just want to move my thread over here like that. So I'm exiting this gem duo. I'm just going to sew through this whole of that same gem duo. And now I have my center unit done and I'm just going to continue making units this way. And of course, I'll show you how to do the um, units because we're just going to have the chiton in the center one and then we're going to do several units and then we're going to have a chiton at the end before we put the, the, um, the sort of necklace part on. All right, so just get to this point and come back and we'll make another unit. Okay, let's add a unit on, which is essentially going to be the same unit that we just did, but without the chiton. And, um, but we'll do it together. So you're exiting the gem duo right here, the, the top hole, and you're on the side here. So you're going to be attaching units here, and then you'll be attaching units there. We're going to pick up an O bead, a pearl, an O bead, a gem duo, O bead, pearl, O bead, gem duo, O bead, pearl, O bead, gem duo, and O bead, pearl, O bead. So that's your sequence. So we're just going to sew through the other side of that gem duo. And now you have another unit on. So you're going to reinforce that unit and then we'll continue. So reinforce the unit. I'm exiting this gem duo. I'm just going to move my thread over to, through the next group of beads here. So the O bead, the pearl O bead, the gem duo, like that. And then the O bead and the pearl. So you'd be exiting pearl right there. And we're just going to pick up, just like we did before, that Toho 11 O. I'm gonna sew through the next pearl. that, making sure that bead sits right there in between the pearls and right under this gem duo, and you're just going to repeat that all the way around. I'm down to my last 11 O, exiting this pearl. I'm going to sew through the next pearl. And then directly through that next, you know, that 11 O. Right there. That's what we have. Let's just, we'll just move on because we've sort of done this already. So we're going to pick up two 15 O's. I'm going to sew through the next 11 O. Two 15 O's. Through the next 11 O. Got it. Do that two more times, then we'll continue. 
Okay, so I've reinforced and exit the exiting the 11 out. I'm just going to sew through the purl. So I'm just going to jump over here, sew through the purl and the um, O bead. So I'm working my way around a little bit. The gem duo and the gem duo and the O bead. And then you're going to add your three 11 O's all the way around. So in between the O beads. So exiting the O bead. Picking up three 11 O's, sewing through the O bead, the gem duo, and the next O bead. Three 11 O's through the next O bead, gem duo, and O bead. And sometimes you have to sort of angle your needle to get through that O bead, and you're going to do that two more times. Okay, so I put on my last three 11 O's, which would be here. Um, I did film it and I lost the clip, so I'm just going to talk you through. So you'll be exiting, you know, um, whatever um, O bead. It should be probably right here. So you've put the last three on. You're just going to sew through all the beads that you just put on until you exit this gem duo right here, the bottom hole. Sew through this top hole, and your thread should be exiting right here so we can add some more units on. Okay, so I just want to show you how it's going to look as you keep adding units. So this is what we have so far. Now, um, the reason this is like this is that I did the necklace and then this gem duo here must have been weak and I didn't see it. it must have been like a thin part on it where the hole was and it broke off. So, you know, my necklace kind of broke apart. <laughs> so, but I can you can get an idea of how, how it should look. So here's your chiton unit and here's your first regular unit. I'll put it here. So, okay, so that's what it's going to look like. So you have your chiton in the middle. One, two, three, four. You have five plain units and then a chiton unit and then the pearls come in. So you can do the same thing on this side. You have your chiton here. You're going to have five plain units and then a chiton unit and then your pearls will work here. Now if you have a bigger or smaller neck, you can put less units in between. Just make sure it's collar length. Mine's about 17 and a half inches um, when I'm done. Um, so I'm just going to send you off to add your units. You know how to do this one, so you can add it here through these units, add another chiton unit here, and then come back and we'll continue. So this is what we have so far, minus the pearls of course. You've got your chiton unit in the middle, five units chiton unit, five units chiton unit. So we're going to start adding some pearls to go around the neck and then we'll do the curve. So I've just threaded my needle with a few feet of thread, maybe four feet, put on a stop bead, left enough of a tail to sew in. I just want to come back a few beads so and through the gem duo. So I just went through the Oh, be the gem duo. I'm just gonna. I'm coming out of the bottom hole of the gem duo. I'm gonna pick up three 11 O's. So we're just gonna do a little embellishment right here around this gem duo. Put those on. Pull in a little bit. Okay. And then I'm gonna pick up three 11 O's. I'm gonna sew through the other side of the gem duo. Just get my thread caught here. There we go. So sew so through the other side. And you may just have to go right through that O bead because, you know, O beads are not forgiving. They, they don't move out of the way when you want them to. <laughs> so go through the O bead as well and then come back through. I can little knot my thread. Let's get that out. There we go. All right. So you're exiting the bottom hole of the gem duo like that. You're just going to sew up these three beads on the side, like that, and just through the top hole of the gem duo, like so. Next up, I'm going to add two 11 O's, and I'm exiting this side of the gem duo. I'm just going to sew through the other side the gem duo. So then I have, I pop those two 11 O's on, I came through the top of the gem duo and I'm going to sew through that first 11 O. So that's going to kind of set me up to put some more beads on. Okay, so you're exiting the 11 O right there. You're going to pick up your eight millimeter pearl drop, whatever you're using. So it's eight millimeter and two 11 O's. I'm going to drop those down. 
Then I'm going to skip these two and I'm going to sew right back through the 8 millimeter. I'm going to make sure that those beads sit one next to the other like that and that they're not twisted. Okay, so just like that. Then I'm going to sew down through this bead on the other side like that. through the top hole of the gem duo, like that, back through this 11 and the pearl, just like that, and then through the 11 -0. And that's how we're going to connect the pearls. Before we move on to the next pearl, I want you to just um, reinforce everything you just put on. So I did it already. You're just going to go down around through here, back up and through here. It's just so you have a nice strong connection there. And then we'll move on. Okay, let's add another eight millimeters. So pick up an eight millimeter and two 11 O's, just like we did before. You're going to skip the two 11 O's and sew back through the 8 millimeter and you want to make sure they sit nice and straight and then you're going to come down through so you're coming into the 8 millimeter just going to sew down through the 11 O like that and then up through this 11 O there we go. Put the needle in there. There we go. And then back up through pearl and the 11 out at the top. And now you have, and you just give it a pull, push down, pull, push this a little bit and pull. And now you have another pearl on. Should we do one more? I'm not sure that was as clear as it could have been. So, 8 millimeter, two 11 O's, drop those down. I'm going to skip the two 11 O's, come down through the pearl. Maybe we'll come down through the pearl and do the 11 O as well at the same time. Maybe that'll sit, you know, be easier to, to maneuver. Okay, so then you're like sitting like so. Just make sure those two sit down properly and then you're going to sew up through the 11 -0 next to the one you're exiting up through the eight millimeter and if you can get it that 11 -0, like that you're going to give it a nice give it like pull it down push it down with your thumbnail and this is what it looks like. So you're just going to keep doing that. Now don't do it until you're completely done because, you know, you'll put it around your neck and you'll see um, because we're going to curve this by putting some bicones and 11 O's here and it may pull it in a little bit. So you might, you might want to wait, like put on, I put on all together, one, two, three, four, I think I did 10, but I started with eight and I held it around my neck and it was, you know, it was looking pretty good. And then I just um, did the curve first before I finished it and put the um, and put the clasp on. So get, you know, get a, a almost done number of pearls on both sides and then come back and we'll do, all we have left is to do the curve. We'll do a little embellishment here and we'll add the pendant if you like. All right, so get your pearls on and then come back and we'll put the clasp on of course uh, and then come back and we'll continue. This is what I have so far. So I've sewn in any extra threads that were hanging around so it's easier for me to work. Um, I did some pearls but I didn't finish. Put the, we're not putting the clasp on until later. We want to get the curve first to make sure that the length is good once it's curved. All right so we're going to thread the needle with about four feet of thread, put on a stop bead and leave about an eight inch tail because we'll use that tail. We're going to sew it in, but we'll just maybe do a little decoration right here. So I've come through the top hole of this gem duo right here of the, um, the chaton unit. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. 
a bicone and three eleven O's like that and I'm going to sew through the top hole of the next one just like that okay next up I'm I'm exiting the top hole of this gem duo I'm going to sew through the bottom hole and the O bead the next three eleven O's I'm going to pick up a 15 O I'm exiting the 311 O's. I'm going to skip all this and just sew up through the next 311 O's. Like that. That's what I have. Now I'm going to sew through this bicone. I'm not sure if you'll need a bead between the bicone, you know, where you ended here, but let's see how it does without a bead here. I'm just going to sew through the bicone. Like that. And then I'm going to sew through these three, like that. That's going to pull that together. And then you want to skip the 15 0 sew back through these three. And you want to make sure that 15 0 pops out like that. You see that? And then through the bicone. Through the next three 11 O's, like that, and then through the top hole of this gem duo, like that, and you get that kind of that's going to sort of pull it in and make it curve. Now we'll do that again so that um, you know you get it. You know, we get we get it all right. Okay, we're gonna pick up three eleven O's, a bicone, and I'm just using random colors from the collection. And three eleven O's. And so through the next gem duo. I'm gonna sew through the bottom hole of the one I'm exiting and the O bead. I'm going to sew through the next three 11 O's. I'm going to put a 15 O right here. So through these three 11 O's, I'm going to sew through the next three. I'm going to pop through this bicone, back through these three 11 O's. Skip that little 15 O, sew up these three. You want to make sure that thread kind of goes in the back, so pull that 15 O out so it makes like a little V. Back through the bicone. And the next three 11 O's. in there like that oops don't get caught and then through the top hole of the next gem duo okay so this is what it looks like you're just going to keep doing that all the way around until you have a nice curve going and you've got your bicones in between so to get that done go all the way to the end and come back and we'll continue back so i'm done with the curve part and I actually I just a little embellished at this end a little I'll show you on this end what I did and I just you know you can kind of give it a little press down <laughs> and then try it around your neck and see how it's doing um, let's just get this little end embellishment on so here I'm exiting that um, gem duo I just grab some beads I'm gonna pick up Three eleven O's, the bicone, and I'm just going to sew through these three eleven O's. So that's two, and three, and that's just going to decorate the end. And then you're just going to, you know, just sew through your top hole of your gem duo, 
and then come down these guys. See if you can come around here. If not, go this way, tie a knot, you know, a couple of knots, and you just sort of embellish the end over there. And do the same thing for the other side. Okay, we're almost there. So this is what I have so far, and I'm going to show you to put the um, clasp on. So we're going to do a very simple connection here with the toggle clasp. So what I did on the toggle clasp, you're going to connect it exactly the same way on both ends. So let me just pull in here. Is I took a jump ring and I put it on my toggle bar and my to and the ring because I wanted my my the ring to be facing in this direction so that I can sew through like this. Okay. So if you need to do that, some clasps come that way and sometimes they don't. So I just put a jump ring on it. So I'm going to pick up an 11 0 I'm going to grab my pearls and the four millimeter pearl. Oops. Like that. Eh. Come on, you. There we go. Then I'm going to go through the jump ring. And then I'm going to pick up a four millimeter pearl and an 11 0. I'm going to go down this 11 0. Actually, you can go down the pearl as well. And the 11 0 under this pearl. Oh, under the pearl. And when you pull, you want to make sure the ring goes in between those two pearls. You don't want it hanging on the thread. You want the pearls to be holding that jump ring on like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then you want to go back up all the beads again. So back up the 11 -0 next to the one I was exiting, the pearl, these two 11 O's right here through the pearl. You got it. The jump ring and so on. And the next pearl and then down and then, you know, tie a couple of half hitch knots along here. And uh, then you're you're done with this, with uh, putting your clasp on. So do both sides and then come back and we'll continue. Okay, you could be done right now and you have a beautiful collar necklace. But I'm gonna do a little bit embellishing of embellishing around the bottom gem duos. But you don't really have to do that. I think it's just beautiful just the way it is. But we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna add the pendant on because you know, I'm going out to dinner for my birthday and I wanna look really, you know, I wanna be a little over the top. <laughs> All right, so first we'll do a little embellishment here, and then we'll add this. But like I said, you can just leave it just like this, and it's beautiful. So I'm going to show you how to do this little um, embellishment on the bottom gem duo. Now, I went ahead because I wanted you to see what it looks like to see if you think it's necessary. So I like it both ways, but I'm going to put it on, um, and, you know, you can decide which way you like it. So I, oh, I, what I did is I just threaded my needle with about, I don't know, four and a half feet of thread, put on a stop bead, left enough of a tail to sew in. I came through the bottom hole of the gem duo right here. So it'll be exiting here. I'll just show you like over here. It's the same thing. So you're going through the bottom hole here. I just went through the bottom hole. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. So, you know, as I said, you're starting at the other side. I'm going to put on three 11 O's like that. And then three 11 O's. And so I've come through the bottom hole, three 11 O's through the top hole and the O bead like that. I'm gonna sew through the next three 11 O's and the next O bead. I'm gonna sew up through this gem duo. And if a needle goes through the, the O bead, don't worry about it. Just go through and then come back out again. It's easier than, easier than trying to, you know, jam it in there. Then down the next, the hole on the other side of that gem duo and the O bead, like that. So that's what it looks like. 
and then you're going to go through the next three 11 O's. So we're working on the one with the chiton, but it's the same thing. You're just going through the next three 11 O's, through the O bead and the gem duo. And my needle is going straight through the other O bead, so I'm going to go come back out like that. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's, so doing the same thing we just did. So I'm through the bottom hole, three 11 O's. So I'm through the top hole and the, the 11 O. Did you hear my stomach growling? And this is how, that's how you're going to put them on. Then you're just going to continue through the three 11 O's, through the, the um, O bead, through here, back down, through you coming around. You're going to put those three 11 O's on both, both sides and just continue on in that, in that manner until you've done everything. And so there it is either way. I think it's really pretty. It's a little more pointy this way, and this kind of softens it up a little bit. So if you're doing that, get that done, and then come back, and I'll just show you how to attach the pendant. Okay. If you're feeling it, and I'm definitely feeling it, you can add the, the pendant on. So all I did was I just threaded my needle with about a foot and a half of thread, put on a stop bead, I left a tail to sew in. I came through the top hole of one of the gem duos on the pendant. So I went through, I put on an 11-0, a gem duo, and then I went through the bottom C bead, the gem duo, the bottom hole of this gem duo, and the bottom C bead that's there already, and then a gem duo, and then another 11-0, and I went through the, this gem duo again. And this is what it looks like. And so you're just going to go all the way around here. I'll open it up so you can see the thread path. So you're just going to go all the way around and reinforce that and then come back and we'll finish up. Looks like. So you could be done here or you can just embellish the edges of this of these two here. So I'm exiting the gem duo. I'm just going to sew through the 11 0 and the next gem duo. And then you could try some, I don't know if you tried two or three 15 0s here because I think the 11 0s will kind of bang into each other. So what does a 15 0 look like? Well, that could work. And then do another three. Or you can add, um, so here I'm going to do another three and come up to the other side and see how that fits. Oh, that works. And then, of course, go through this one, the gem duo, and the next 11-0. Like that. I mean, you can really do this any way you like. And then down through the gem duo. And then just repeat what you did over here, where did my, let, oops, I got caught here. Let me fix that. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. It's better. Okay, so then you could just, you can do something like that, or you can add a couple of um, 11 O's, or do you know anything that will fit there that, um, that will look nice. So play with that a little bit and then come back and we'll finish. Okay, we're back and we're done. So just make sure when you embellish those two gem duos with the little 15 O's that they pop in front of the others. It's kind of tight and you know, or like there's a lot going on in there. So you want to just want to make sure maybe do two uh, 15 O's instead of three. I mean, I just push them in front and I think they're fine. I think that looks beautiful. I kind of slanted it because I wanted to get the whole thing in, in, um, in frame. So here it is. Here's your pendant, your necklace with the pendant. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it makes some sort of rendition of this. You can even make this longer. You can put less pearls on. You can, you know, you can really play with this a little bit and stop along the way. All right. So I want to thank you so much for being here with me and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.